Hi, Ali Schuyler here from SuckItIsSoulful.com. Are you dealing with anger or spend way too much time working to control your anger and rage? Well, it's time to release and get energized. <laughs> Well, here's a news flash. When anger hits your psyche, you've got company whether you like it or not. In this Deal With Your Anger video, I have a very cool way to help you move your anger and frustration out of your body. And please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons below and continue to join me on this sucky to soulful journey. BTW, because I so appreciate that you're taking the time to watch this video, I would like to give you my free Shiftitudes ebook by clicking the link below. As far as I'm concerned, if you're dealing with anger and want to live life happy, in addition to your meditation place, I suggest you create a rage room in your house. A place where you or anyone else in your family can go to scream, jump up and down, kick walls, or beat the crap out of a punching bag. A rage room is a place where you don't have to control your anger, but can physically move your anger and frustration through and out of your system when you feel like a bull with blazing red eyes and smoke coming out of your nostrils. Just think of how much energy it takes to control your anger. Why not just find a way to let go of your rage, release, and get energized? Michael Brown, author of The Presence Process, which by the way is a great freaking book, says it's not about feeling better but rather about getting better at feeling i would add it's about getting better at feeling and releasing now before you even do a dealing with anger mindfulness exercise i suggest you start by forgetting about controlling your anger as i said before once anger has hit your psyche you've got company whether you like it or not and the only thing you have control over is asking the anger in or asking it to leave Two, don't make anger a bad thing. It's a feeling, like any other feeling, and it's just an energy pattern. And like a pattern, it can be dismantled and rearranged to create something new. Take the judgment out of how you feel, even if the feeling sucks. Number three, create a space in your house where you can vent. You don't have a space, you say? You got a bathroom, you have a closet, you've got a space. Be creative and find even the little spot that you can designate as your place to move the anger on through. And finally, for the last step of this exercise, remember to give your family a heads up when you're dealing with anger and need to visit the rage room. This is really great role modeling for kids on how not to take out your feelings on someone else, even if that someone else is who you believe is the cause of your pissed offedness. Contribute to our Sucky to Soulful community and please like, comment and share below about any cool and creative ways you deal with anger and rage. By the way, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you're interested in discovering how to change your life using inspirational words and positive songs that keep you committed to your spiritual journey, then please get my videos in your inbox by subscribing to my channel below and become a part of my tribe of personal growth junkies. We are all committed to helping each other move from sucky to soulful at the speed of life. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, as a token of my appreciation for being a part of the Sucky to Soulful community, click on the link below to get your free copy of my Shiftitudes ebook that includes 11 alley acronym affirmations that instantly shift your attitude, Shiftitude, into well being. And you will also receive a second free gift, my Shift to Tune song, Anchor to My Sanity. Ali Schuyler, soulfully signing out. Underneath, I'm gonna go kill my husband right now. He's making faces at me. <gasps>